Welcome guys, we are out here today to do some much needed maintenance on the orchard. Um, you can see back here behind me that it is all grown up. That it's all grown up back here and I need to pull them fences up, pull my tree tubes. Um, I might do some mild pruning, but um, overall I just need to clean it all up and I need to expand some of these cages because the trees are getting big enough to where they're starting to run out of room and the cages are losing their intended purpose. So anyway, I just thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, we are going to work on that right now. So uh, I got the girls out here. They're out here munching on some apples they pulled from the tree. But uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some uh, herbicide around it to make sure the weeds don't come right back. Oh, she's all shy. She's all shy. <laughs> For the life of me, I cannot remember what variety of apple this is. But I planted this. This is my original tree I planted about three years ago. Uh, it was all but dead that first year. I just stuck them in the ground and didn't do anything. The deer ate every single leaf off of it. And uh, somehow it came back and it has grown to be a very nice sized tree. And here in a couple years, it'll be producing some delicious apples, even though I don't know exactly what kind they are. But uh, anyway, we gotta move on to these guys. Trust me, there is a tree in there somewhere.
All right, guys, you get the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and do, ooh, right there, peach tree. I got New Haven's peach trees. I've got two more apple trees right here. And then I got two Liberty apples up higher and a pear tree. So I gotta do all these real quick. Uh, no sense bringing you along with all those and I'll get right back with you. Okay guys, I've been working out here for a while. Whoo, it's hot again. Always working in the middle of the day. But I just wanted to show you guys the progress I made. Show you the trees. Look how much cleaner this all looks. The nice apple trees here. There is a Reliance Peach. It's the New Haven Peach. I believe this is a Macintosh apple. And this is one of my original apples again. Kind of a mystery, I can't remember what it was. But getting to be a pretty big tree. Here's one of my Liberty apples. It's supposed to be disease resistant. Very good for a, very good for deer. Another, Liber, li, huh, another Liberty apple tree. Here's my kefir pear. See, it's tall. Check this out. And here are my chestnut trees. All 18 of them. And here you've got my Doc Special Pair, four of them, that I had in a previous video. I went and sprayed around them. I haven't got the, got weedy, I haven't got it all weed eated yet. And right here is a little persimmons tree. Now persimmons trees are more known to be a southern tree. And in fact, I have never seen one that I know of in person. Uh, we are right on the edge of where they can survive according to the uh, zoning maps. And uh, so I'm really putting it to the test because I'm right on that border. If I could get these persimmon trees to work, oh man, they call them deer candy. I've never eaten one. If you guys ever eaten one, comment below. Tell me what they taste like, because I heard that they're amazing when they're ripe. And uh, anyway, I, I, I hope that someday these grow into something that will produce me some persimmon trees. I guess they hang on to their fruit way into December, into the cold, and they'll drop, and uh, the wildlife just go crazy over them. But uh, my meat chickens are right here. And let's go up here and check out a couple chestnut trees. Here's one of my chestnut trees. That is probably a 14 foot tree. This is actually a Dunstan chestnut. In the late 1800s, 1900s, there was a chestnut blight that wiped out the American chestnut. The American chestnut made up a 25% of the Appalachian forest. And uh, can you imagine 
walking outside and 25% of your forest is dying all around you, that'd be pretty scary. And it was introduced from Asia. It completely wiped out the, the America chestnut tree. And what they did was they took a different variety of chestnut tree, which was the Chinese chestnut. And they took a small portion of that and they crossed it with the American chestnut to create the Dunstan chestnut, or you'll see also hybrid chestnuts. And what that does is the Chinese chestnut tree is resistant to the blight that killed the American chestnut. And by crossing these two, and it's a very high percentage, I want to say in the upper 90% American chestnut, and just a few percentage points of Chinese chestnut, what that does is it puts the blight resistant into these trees. And uh, therefore, they are resistant to the blight that could come that can kill them but uh but recently I looked at I saw an article online that was saying that they they're coming up with a way to reintroduce the American chestnut tree by actually making it a GMO and what they are doing is they're taking a single gene actually I believe it's two genes a marker gene and a single gene from the wheat plant you know wheat as in your bread and they put it into the American chestnut tree. And that gene in the wheat is resistant to any kind of chestnut blight. It is currently getting government approval to be reintroduced back into our forest, which would be the first time that a GMO would be reintroduced. Uh, this tree is 99.999% American chestnut. And it just has a single gene to make it resistant to the chestnut blight. And I think it'd be pretty amazing to get this magnificent tree that was so important to our history, get it reinduced back into our forest. Uh, you figure the chestnut tree not only was essential for wildlife with white-tailed deer and squirrels, chipmunks, everything, but also people. People also ate the chestnut tree. People also ate the chestnuts off the chestnut tree and they used the wood from everything from building homes to furniture and everything else so it'd be pretty amazing if we could bring that bring this magnificent tree back and uh, I hope I hope someday that's a possibility anyway this is just a quick video uh, it's tough to get these videos out but uh, I'm wrangling these kids around all the time but uh, just working on my orchard a little bit uh, I was able to get outside uh, going to get inside because get a shower because I get in this poison ivy and oh you don't want to see me get poison ivy it's horrible but uh anyway uh if you guys like this please like and subscribe I greatly appreciate it um and we got a uh, meat chicken update tomorrow and I hope to see you guys then and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching